Okay, so a short while ago, I asked you to sit down and write um, just some, some of your thoughts quickly down on paper in any format you chose. So can you tell me about what you wrote? Yeah. Um, okay, I decided to go with a poem, um, and it is about sleep deprivation. Okay, and why did you pick the topic sleep deprivation? Um, you know, right now, I'm kind of tired. It was the first thing that came into my mind when you said to do a quick write. Um, there's three main things, really, that as college students are our biggest struggles. Um, school, a social life, and sleep. And the one that always seems to get out at first is the sleep, because we just got to keep up with everything else. So, um... I'm kind of tired, and it was the first thing that came to mind. So okay. okay. It's a rough draft. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read this really quick before we get started. Okay, so the first thing that I see, or when I read this poem that kind of comes to mind, is your meter and rhythm in this poem is really is really good. It's easy to read. I don't feel like I'm stumbling over any of the words. Mm -hmm. Your word choice is right on point. Um, I'm not really going to focus on punctuation right now because, you know, with mm -hmm. poems, punctuation isn't really something that's a tight structure. Mm -hmm. uh, your imagery is really gay great. One of the lines is, our heavy limbs and sunken eyes. And, you know, when I think of you know, being tired, mm -hmm. you know, my limbs are so heavy and I feel like my eyes are just sunk in the back of my head and mm -hmm. you do a really good job painting that mm -hmm. picture. Um, also, when you say, and whether it's five, six, seven, or eight, mm -hmm. the way that you separated the five, six, seven, or eight onto different lines gives the reader a chance to pause. It's kind of drawn out, creates some suspense. Okay, so can you tell me why you used cuz instead of because? So it, you said it's not enough because we're all dodging fate. Um, with my poems when I write, I like them to be a little more informal. Um, I think that being formal enough to say because kind of messes with the flow of the things when I'm going for them. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you know, I like to shorten them and it just, I think, sounds and it flows. Okay. Okay, so um, like you said, you like to use an informal voice. Mm -hmm. I did feel relaxed when I was reading this poem. Yeah, I like them to not be real like stiff. Yeah. Uh, and you seem to end it really well. I don't feel like I'm left hanging, but it does kind of leave me with a thought. What do you mean by the joys of humanity erased by the ills of modernity? I think that it's been the joys of humanity. It's like those simple things in life and... Um, having more time to do the things that we want to that bring us that joy and the um, modernity is just that we're trying so hard to keep up with everything modern um, and stay on track of everything so it kind of overpowers it and you don't get to enjoy as much. Okay so I think you're definitely on the right track with this poem and I can't wait to see how it develops awesome. and to see your final draft. Thank you. Thank you.